Now we're going to talk about ratios, fractions, and percent. Proportions and percent. Let's write that all down. These are different ways of looking at the same problem. A fraction is given as an amount over a base. Mathematically, you might have heard this as the numerator over the denominator. It's a hard word to spell. A over C. I'm going to give the example of 3 over 25. That's a fraction. A ratio. In a ratio, we're going to express that in two parts. 3 to 22, or A to B. This is a way of comparing the two parts. I've broken my fraction that has 25 pieces into two bits, 3 and 22. When I add those together, I get 25. So a ratio is a way of breaking our fraction up. Let's look at the same thing in decimal. In decimal, 3 over 25 is equal to 0.12. That's the same as 12%. Which means we have many ways of saying the same thing. 3 25ths. 3 to 22, 0.12, 12%. Those are all the same, but we use them in different ways. Often, the one we like best is percent. We use percent a lot in business because it's easy to understand. 12% just makes a lot of sense. However, ratios do come in handy when we have lots of things to compare. So I might say A to B to C equals one to three to two. That means I've broken my whole into six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to color one of them, A. I'm going to color three of them, B. And I'm going to color Let's, uh, sorry, make this green. The rest of it, C. Two parts are C. One part is A. Three parts are B. Question two. Detailed information about the Minute Maid Lemonade Company is supplied below. They have sales of $20 million dollars. Cost of goods sold, that's things like lemons and sugar are t and cans, are $12 million, giving them a gross profit of 20 minus 12 equals $8 million. Their operating expenses, that's things like salaries and factory costs, are $5 million, leaving them with a net pro profit of $3 million. This is an income statement, and this is how we often write our uh, expenses. Sales minus cost of good is gross profit minus operating expenses equals net profit. The net profit is the bottom line. What we're going to do is create a common size income statement. That means that each line is as a percent of sales. So we take each line and we divide it by sales. So our sales line is going to be $20 million. I'm going to write million. That's okay because I can cancel it out. 20 million over 20 million equals 100%. So I write 100%.
our sales line is always 100%. Next, we do our cost of goods sold, and that's going to be $12 million divided by $20 million. Cancel out those millions, and we end up with 60%. We have two choices for the gross profit. We can observe that gross profit is 100 minus 60 equals 40%. But we can also observe that $8 million divided by $20 million equals 40%. So either way works. Next, we're going to do our operating expenses. Operating expenses is $5 million divided by $20 million is 25%. Subtract again and we end up with 15%. The important things are these two numbers. Gross profit divided by sales is called something special. It is the percent gross margin. That's going to be the gross profit divided by sales. The one at the bottom here, this is called the percent net margin. And that's going to be the net profit divided by sales. Sometimes we call this PGM and sometimes we call this PNM. And these are both examples of profit margins. Important thing, when you hear margin, we always divide by the sales. Question three. Finally, we're going to use the concept of percent net margin or profit margin to be able to compare our two lemonade stands. So let's remember back to the last video when we had Sam and Charlie. Sam and Charlie had sales of $300 and they had a net profit of $180. That gives them a percent net margin of, I'm going to write the formula again, net profit divided by sales is 180 divided by 300. This gives us 60%. Minute Maid has a PNM, as we already calculated before, of 15%. So we've got 15% and we've got 60%. Which one is better? I'm going to go with Sam and Charlie. So Sam and Charlie have a much smaller business, but they have higher profit margins because they're keeping more of their money. For every dollar in sales, Sam and Charlie keep 60 cents. For every dollar in sales, Minute Maid keeps only 15 cents. They keep less of their money. 85 cents goes to expenses. Now, which one is the better business? That's harder to compare. Sam and Charlie with their small stand probably can't compete with Minute Maid on an international basis, but just based on margins, they're keeping more of their money.